So here we go then with the pit bike, 160 class. They go piling into the chicane for the first time. Big class of riders here. We have 35 riders on the grid in the curbside camera again, showing the speed of the riders through the first few corners. And of course, with so many riders in the class, a good start, absolutely essential. The rider to look out for in this race is the current race leader, number 47, Richard Cooper, who some of you will well know is a regular professional rider on the BSB scene. So it'll be interesting to see how he gets on here at the British Minibike Series against some of our regular championship riders. And already Cooper leading the way. It looks like that could be Jim Lovell in second place with Matt Bowles over 4-2-1 in third place. But number 47, your race leader, the rider we spoke to earlier, of course, Richard Cooper. Neatly through the hairpins he goes, that slow part of the course. And then back on the power towards the long, sweeping right-hand hairpin. And he takes a nice, neat inside line. Keeping the power on, it looks to me like Bolzover has gone through into second place. So Matt Bolzover, number 421, moves into second place, gets past Jim Lovell, and I'm sure he'll be looking to see if he can keep Cooper under some pressure at the front. Cooper has a quick glance across at some of the tail enders making their way around for the first time. Bolzover clearing away in second place, looks like Lovell in third, and chasing where it looks like there. Some of the riders, including there, Chris Fabian, James Concan, and Patrick O'Connor, Lawrence Wardle. As the leaders go through past the curbside camera, you can see just how fast they're going on that opening part of the lap, carrying a lot of speed around that left-hand hairpin as they go around towards the back of the course. And you can see the midfield riders jostling for position, but at the front, things start to spread out a bit now as Cooper leads the way, balls over in second place, and Lovell in third, Chris Fabian in fourth place. And Cooper now powers down the back straight. There he goes, carrying a lot of speed through the chicanes, keeping a nice straight line to keep the momentum going, and into those tight hairpins as Cooper, number 47, regular, as you said earlier, of course, on the BSB scene, professional rider, and really is a great chance for some of our regular championship contenders to see how they cope against a fully-fledged BSB rider, and Cooper trying to pull away, but Bolzover still there in second place, keeping him honest, but of course, Bolzover himself can't afford to relax because Lovell just shadowing there in third place. We saw there, again, Richard Cooper has a quick glance over the shoulder to see where the chasing pack are, and they're not too far behind. We see Cooper leads the way from Bowles over, and Jim Lovell in third place. Those top three riders started to break away. They go past the curbside camera once again. Some great speed, as we said earlier, of course. Around that opening left-handed kink corner there. They go around the back of the course once again. The top three really starting to pull away from the rest of the field. And Richard Cooper setting to work, trying to pull away from Bolzover in second place. Bolzover, number 421. There he goes in second place, doing all he can to try and catch up with the leader. And there's still a bit of a gap there. Let's see, it looks about four or five seconds between first and second as Bolzover charges away, tries to keep Cooper under pressure. Not quite close enough to make a pass at the moment, but of course, that does mean the pressure is still on Bolzover. Any kind of mistake from him in uh, second place and I think Jim Lovell will be catching up in third and likewise of course Richard Cooper if he makes any kind of a mistake which uh, isn't unknown even for the professional riders that would mean that Bolzover's right in there for the lead but those top three riders really are starting to break away from the rest of the field as Cooper glances across to just keep a check on where the chasing pack are in relation to him he goes past the finish line once again with a nice clean track in front of him, the leaders not really causing much of a uh, problem to the back marks at the moment. Nice clean track in front of them as Cooper charges away past the left-handed corner there. Top speed up towards the back of the course. Balls over being urged on in second place to try and catch up with Cooper. And shadowing in third place, Jim Lovell just watching the action in front of him, trying to get involved. Those top three riders starting to spread out a bit now. Richard Cooper starting to pull away a bit now from the second place rider Matt Bowles over and actually Cooper setting the fastest lap of the race 116.91 seconds and pulls another second out from Bowles over so Bowles over starting to lose pace which Cooper perhaps with the consistency he might expect from a uh, top level rider looking very strong indeed at the front he sets to work to try and establish that gap he knows he's starting to pull away a bit now Bowles over doing all he can to try and close up in second place, but no match at the moment for Richard Cooper. And you can see already the gap really starting to increase between first and second. 
and Jim Lovell losing touch a bit there in third place. Those top three riders, it's all about those three riders at the moment as Lovell pulling away all the time from Chris Fabian who's battling a bit further down the field with James Concanon, Patrick O'Connor, Lawrence Wardle in there as well. Mark Hardy, Tom Stevens also battling just outside the top ten with Michael Shuka a little bit further ahead of them there in about seventh or eighth place. And Richard Cooper starts to close up on some of the tail enders. You see Matt Bolsover still there in second place and Jim Lovell in third. And they're the bat markers now. Could this cause a problem for Richard Cooper? Of course, he might lose a little bit of time if he's not careful. But nips down the inside of the tail ender. Matt Bolsover still there in second place. And now Cooper among the tail enders trying to pick his way through them and maintain that gap. He's pulled a nice little gap there between him and the second place rider, which is still Matt Bowles over. There we see number 47, Richard Cooper, your race leader, nips down another tail ender and now has a little bit of a clear ground in front of him, although there are some back markers further on down the field. And now an added element to the race, of course. We have so many riders in this race, a very popular class. And that means the tail enders, you see two of them there having their own battle at the back of the field. Could cause problems to the leaders, of course but nothing is stopping Richard Cooper at the moment. He nips down the inside of two of our tail enders and charges away at the front. There's another glance behind him just to keep a check on the second race rider, Matt Bolsover. Bolsover now losing a bit of ground to Cooper, who is the runaway leader in these late stages of the race and still charging away. Goes flying past the curbside camera and now all on his own at the front. He's got two tail enders behind him and Bolsover goes down the inside now with a clean track in front of him, you can see the gap between him and the race leader, of course, which is still Richard Cooper, who's coming back towards us now. Nice and neat through the chicane, keeping the pressure on the second place riders to try and keep up with him. And there's Bowles over in second, doing all he can to try and live with Richard Cooper. But Cooper back on the power down the back straight now and looking very strong indeed. He's got a relatively clean track in front of him now as one rider. Yellow flags up there out of the race. I'm not sure who that was. Might have been Dennis Latham or possibly Daniel Black. Possibly think that was Dennis Latham. Looks like there's a mechanical problem for him. The marshals very quickly on the scene with the yellow flags to make sure that oncoming riders are warned of that and manage to uh, avoid the obstruction. Nothing at all, though, stopping Richard Cooper at the moment. Nice and neatly into the corner, right on the knees using all the power he can through those corners, keeping the momentum going as he continues to pull away from Bolsover, who just goes into shot there. Richard Cooper, the race leader number 47, glanced across the shoulder momentarily, see where second place was, and he will see that he's pulling away all the time. Matt Bolsover starting to lose ground now as Richard Cooper really stamps his advantage on the race. He goes past the curbside camera once again, got another tail ender, just the one rider though, so shouldn't cause him too much problems, but there's Matt Bolsover in second place. Lost a bit of ground, but he's still there in second place, so keeping the pressure on in second. Any kind of a mistake from Richard Cooper, the race leader, who goes through now, and Bolzer will be right in there. There comes Bolzer up towards us by the camera angle and still keeping the pressure on the race leader, Richard Cooper. Only rider so far, really, to keep Cooper under pressure as he charges away at the front. And, of course, Cooper showing some of his BSB class times. He goes through the hairpins, still keeps the power on as much as he can, keeps the momentum going. On the little pit bike, of course, the momentum really is key. Don't lose too much ground, of course, in the hairpins. But Cooper doing a nice job through the inside line he goes, keeping the power on. Very quick line on that inside line. You can see a couple of back marks in front of him. He's going to have to take his time and not make any mistakes. They're having their own little battle there. Cooper just nips down the inside of both riders as they glance across and see who it is and very uh, very sportingly move to one side to let the leader through. But 47, Richard Cooper leading the way and starting to pull away a bit more now from Matt Bolsover in second place. Here comes Cooper towards us now. I'm just trying to try and see where Bolsover is. And there he is just coming into shot now. So he is losing a couple of seconds to the race leader, Richard Cooper. Bolsover trying to do all he can to keep up with that race leader. Here comes Bolsover. Down the back straight he goes, and looking very strong indeed at the front. I think he had number 83 in front of him there. About to go a lap down, which I think was Alex Thurston. And there's Alex Thurston there. Just moves to one side, he sees the leader come through and allows him past. Well, not quite, he didn't realise who he was momentarily, he thought it was another rival. He tried to go down the inside, then saw it was the leader, and hangs back just to let him pull away a bit now. 
So no problems at all for Richard Cooper. Lost a little bit of time there trying to get past the tail enders. But there's Bowles over in second place, bogged by the bat markers. And that's losing a valuable time, which means that Richard Cooper goes through with a wheelie to take the checkered flag. So in the pit bike 160, Richard Cooper takes the win. Matt Bowles over second and Jim Lovell in third.